Hi YouTube, and this is JTray997, back with another G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra review. And this time it's going to be my Conrad Duke Hauser in his Delta 6 Accelerator suit. Or does that say Delta? Almost looks like a 5 on the packaging. But I know it's a 6. Delta 6 Accelerator suit. Now, one of the things you're going to notice as to our previous release, um, Ripcord in his Accelerator suit, which I will do a comparison on later. This guy is a bit more movie accurate. There's some more paint upgrades. There's a Gatlin gun and grappling hook set, um, attachment, as well as a new oversized rocket launcher, as well as his base. Also, he comes with his rifle. So, this looks like an awesome figure. Onto the back of the box. Duke's file card says, Conrad Duke Hauser is a central member of the G.I. Joe team and chases Cobra villains through Paris to retrieve dangerous nanomite technology. His high-tech accelerator suit increases his speed and strength and is armed with gas-propelled grappling spears and a spinning Gatling gun. Preferred weapon, M2X1 suppressive fire heavy machine gun with grenade launcher. Down here are the rest of the characters in the wave. So, this looks great. Glad to have. I'm actually glad to have a movie accurate accelerator suit, even though I thought I would hate those things originally. Let's pull this bad boy out of the packaging. And we here we have Conrad Duke Hauser out of the box and in his accelerator suit. And over here we have his giant oversized missile launcher, which did have a base and a string. Boom. Of course, I'm not going to untangle it, I'm just going to throw this in a pile of these rocket launchers. So, on to Duke and his accelerator suit. Now, let's get a quick 360 of this guy. A lot of really nice paint on this guy. Um, of course, his rifle is the standard one he's been issued with. Nothing big. Of course, his helm... Oh, crap. Duke lost his head, literally. Uh, people always say I'm too hard with these things. Uh, well, it is Halloween, almost. Headless Duke. So, let's pop that right back on. That's one great thing about G.I. Joe. Even though their heads pop off easily, they pop right back on. Um, that actually brings up one of my other issues. His Gatling gun and his um, grappling gun can be pulled off, but if you're not careful when you pull them off, they will remove the hands with them. Oh, that one actually came off smoothly. Um, the first time I pulled this one off, it took the hand with it. But, still an awesome figure. Of course, his base. Get some detail on... Um, the grappling gun and... um, I mean, the grappling hook and the Gatlin gun are the only major differences besides a touch-up to paint between him and Ripcord. Although, I will still do a comparison. Of course, I'm going to put his helmet back on if I can avoid ripping his head off again. Uh, so, as far as articulation, he's got the norm for the G.I. Joe... Universe, um, pretty smooth, a little stiff in the arms than I'd like it to be, but um, the legs are really free moving. Connects to the base solidly. The only problem I've ran into is that this arm or hand cannot hold his rifle because of the Gatling gun being so bulky. This hand, however, doesn't have too many issues holding the rifle. If I can just pop it in really quick. Oh, now it's wanting to give me some issues. There we go. I hope nobody will hold it against me that I pulled Duke's head off earlier in the review. So now let's get a comparison to Accelerator Suit Ripcord. Now, as I said, the big difference between these two is Duke has a slightly darker, blacker paint job and his two wrist accessories. Ripcord does not have these wrist accessories. And, however, he does... Well, no, his rifle's different. I thought it was the same rifle for a moment. Um, same helmet, same suit... Just a different coat of paint. Duke's Joe emblem is movie accurate yellow, while Rip Court is silver. So um, overall, I've heard a lot of people buying two Dukes, and I'm just pulling the head off Duke, which is easy enough, and putting Rip Court's head back on him, making some minor paint adjustment to the neck. Um, I don't know if I'd go that far. It's definitely a better looking figure, but I'm just not a huge Rip Court fan. I wouldn't go out of my way just to make his suit look a little bit better. And besides the fact that if you've already got two Dukes and you want a ripcord, you can always pull it off and put it on. And there you go. Accelerator suit ripcord. But of course, um, an awesome figure. I'm glad that they, I was afraid that we would just get another one of these guys and he would have a different head. Okay, so let's look at him as how he holds up as far as just being a Duke figure. 
And here we have every Duke release so far. I need to correct myself again, unfortunately. Um, I said that Accelerator Suit Duke and Ripcord came with a different gun. I was incorrect. They both come with the same rifle. But here we have Desert Ambush Duke before he's a Joe, Accelerator Suit Duke, and Reactive Impact Armor Duke, with City Strike Duke to follow in the upcoming Wave 5. Now, let's go over a couple of things really quick. Um, I was not crazy about Desert Ambush Duke. I thought he was a good figure to issue, but just didn't enjoy him. Reactive Impact Armor Duke I thought would be a terrible figure that I actually ended up loving. So how do these all hold up? Now, obviously as I've said, I didn't enjoy Desert Ambush Duke. The more he sits on my shelf, the more, less I like him. Um, he's not a terrible figure, just not one I enjoy a lot. Reactive Impact Armor Duke, um, I like him. I love his look. He looks great with my Joes. I think I gave him a 9 out of 10 and he really deserved that. Now, Accelerator Suit Duke pulling these bad boys off to the side here. This Duke's main flaw is that, as I show him with Ripcord Base, once this helmet's down, without the base, no one would know this guy's Duke. So, um, he's an amazing looking figure. The detail that went into this guy is great, just um, on the paint job alone. I love it. Um, the articulation's definitely great. Could use a little more in the arms, but I'll forgive it. Head snaps off a little too easy for, um, during removing the helmet. But if you be a little more gentle with it, then you probably won't have the same issues I'm having. So overall, um, I think that Accelerator Suit Duke is definitely worth the buy. Um, they're still running eight bucks. I think Target dropped the price to six or seven bucks to drive sales. So my recommendation is pick up Duke for an awesome looking figure. But if you want somebody to look like a normal Duke standing up, go with Re Reactive Impact Armor Duke. Um, of course, you can always buy this guy. I'm still not crazy about him, but. As I've said before, I'm not making your decision. So, Reactive Impact Armor Duke, I mean, excuse me, Delta 6 Accelerator Suit Duke gets a very solid 9 out of 10. I enjoy him. He's a great figure, and I'll see you soon, you two.